Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post is by Demon Az. Would you trade it for a riding mower? You can pick it up in League City. Hello, if I understand correctly, you would like to trade a riding mower for a $19,000 car, and we will have to come pick up the mower? Yes. Is it made of gold? No, it's red. Well, I have to say that's probably a first for me seeing somebody trying to trade a lawnmower for a car. This next one is by Dom the Brit. Is this still available? I would pay 80 cash today if you could deliver to New West. You want me to knock off $70 and drive to New West in the middle of a pandemic? Hard pass. You're scared to drive your own car? <laughs> Hard pass for what? Being an idiot and a twat? <laughs> Good luck. I can see why they're still for sale. <laughs> Or, you know, not many people are buying and selling right now. Just because of that doesn't entitle you to getting a massive discount and getting free delivery. This next one is by Azur Suishu. I fucking hate Neiman Marcus. Once I looked at my debit card statement and someone had spent $900 at Neiman Marcus without my knowledge. Must have swiped it on one of those gas station scammer things. I called my debit card company and they reversed the charges. You'd think Neiman Marcus would still send me the stuff someone else bought for the troubles I had to go through, but no, they didn't. You expected stuff that you neither wanted nor paid for? It was a lot of trouble for me to go through. I thought there might be a consolation prize of sorts. Yeah, the consolation prize is usually your bank making right on the fraudulent charge. You don't get the items on top of it. This next one is by Chui. Hey bro, you think I can get another thousand dollars to help me pay rent for May that is coming up? I thought your rent was $500. Nah man, I got rent, car payment, electric and water bill, and I need to feed my kids. Sorry man, I can't spare any money right now. I've already helped multiple people and I still need to make sure I have enough to take care of myself and my parents. I thought we were cool. Look here, I really need it so I can feed my kids or we might be homeless. I know you make enough because I see you driving nice cars and you have a nice place. It takes me two weeks to make my rent. Probably only take you a day or two of your work to help pay my rent and stuff. I already gave you $500 last month with no strings attached for you to keep because I wanted you to do something good. At best, I can send you a $100 Safeway card to use to buy food for your kids, but you're gonna have to figure out the rest on your own. Nah man, I need more than that. You want my kids to become homeless? Come on bro, do me another favor, please. I know you have the money, stop being selfish. Dude, no. Screw you too. If my kids and I become homeless, it's on you. Shaking my head, no wonder everyone hates rich people. Whatever, are you gonna send that $100 Safeway card so I can feed my kids? After all that? No. Go figure out a way to feed your family. Your responsibility. There you go again, being selfish. They were actually willing to give you that $100 card so you can go and buy groceries for your kids. I don't call that selfish. What I call selfish is you demanding more than that. This next one is by Cat with Long Legs. Would you be interested in drawing a single cover for me? Hey, thanks for reaching out. Of course, that should be no problem. What did you have in mind? Can you draw this in your style? Sends pick. Just something dope. Huh? Well? Sure, I can do that for you. My prices start at $20, but the reference itself isn't too complicated, so I think $15 would cover the cost of it. I accept payments through PayPal. Is that okay with you? I have 2k followers. Congrats. Would you prefer if they paid me? Fuck you. I'm in intensive care with Corona. I can't use PayPal. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you recover soon. How are you using Instagram? 
I could die and you won't do your art for me? I will gladly do art for you, but I hope you understand that I need to be paid. I'm willing to lower the price to $10, but I really can't go any lower. I hope you understand. Fuck you, piece of shit. Okay, you wore me down. I'll do it for you now. Since pick. Hope this is what you had in mind. Loved working on this project with you. Feel free to contact me again if you ever need anything. Thanks. <laughs> I don't understand why the beggars do not get that common decency goes a long way. Hurling insults isn't going to get you the job done, and if it does, it's not going to get you the job done the way you want it done. Better to just pay for the service. This next one is by Cronenberg Morty 95 When you interview a candidate, you have to test the waters with them. COVID-19 gave me the perfect way of doing that. Prospective employees who are in it for the company and positive work experience will understand and be fine with it when I say, due to economic uncertainty as a result of COVID-19, salary will be determined and given out once the pandemic is over and once we start making company revenue. Ultimately, it's good to know up front who's interested in the company because it's the company and who's in it only for the money. Those who are in it because it's the company and work experience are in it for the future. I can see them being a potential long-term employee. That's the type of employee I need and want to afford a salary for. Candidates who are extremely work experience driven and not solely money driven. If they say, yes, that's fine, they get hired and will of course get a salary in the future. If they say, no, I don't agree to this. It means they're not the right candidate for me because they are not work experience driven and are instead are solely money driven. Hashtag CEO life. Hey, I can tell you right now, people who are in it for the company will still expect to be paid. They're not going to just accept working for free, especially during this time when everybody still has bills that need to be paid, including yourself, Mr. CEO. Need to change that hashtag to hashtag idiot life. And our final post is by Sayuda Next. Hey, can I ask you something real quick? Yeah, sure. A bit random, but you getting the PS5 on launch this year? Yeah, I should be, if it doesn't get delayed. Cool. I'm looking for a console with games right now, and they're all out of stock right now and eBay prices are high as fuck. Yeah? Would you mind selling your PS4 with some games to me? I'm not planning on selling it right now. The PS5 is coming out in like 7 months, and my PS4 games will work on the PS5. Yeah, I get that, but it's not that deep if you give them. I'll even pay! You high-key rich though, so you don't even need the cash. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just help me out. I've known you for a while now. I'll pay you 150 pounds for your PS4 and like Spider-Man and Final Fantasy 7 or something. A PS4 Pro goes for 300 right now. I'd be one huge fucking idiot if I sold my PS4 Pro with 80 pounds worth of games for 150 pounds. All right, calm the fuck down. It's honestly not that deep. I'm genuinely broke right now. I understand that, but why does that make me obliged to give away my PS4? Come on, bro. You're my good friend. You can easily afford it. That's beyond the point. You can't just expect something for someone just because I'm your good friend, especially when I'm losing out. Jeez, what's gotten into you? You're starting to piss me off. Are you hearing yourself right now? High-key ungrateful. A PS4 goes for around 300, and Spider-Man goes for 20. Final Fantasy Remake goes for 50 pounds, and is out of stock everywhere, which increases the value. You want me to lose 220 pounds because I've known you for 7 months? No, I'm your good friend. You're getting the PS5 soon anyway, and you're fucking rich, and it'll barely make a dent in your bank account. You genuinely disgust me. Even if you gave me a shit ton of money, I would still want to keep my PS4 because I still want to fucking use it, and you should know that because I've said it repeatedly. 
Well, unfortunately, there's a lot they've probably missed because people have probably told them things repeatedly throughout their whole life, and unfortunately, they just still don't get it. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.